name is Ezaz Patel and you are watching Ezaz Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 27 of uh, 26 of responsive e-learning website development, development in PHP with PDU. So as in last tutorial, we successfully see that how can we update and display this uh, fre uh, frequently asked questions section. So in this tutorial, we are going to working on this about us page. Just look at here. We have this about us page from here. So we are going to display that page from there. Okay. So how can we do that? So simply, what we are going to do here, just uh, first of all, come back to the body left section. Here, we said index.php question mark about okay here also we are going to setting one variable oh sorry get about and here also we need to set it at the end of the uh, page of body left control c control v change it with the uh, about and here also we are going to change it with about okay so the next task is uh, first uh, control plus n to new files like php remove this one from here create a one deal with the id equal to what the right section create one another deal with the id equal to about Control S to save it with the about.php. Save it here. Okay. Inside here, h3 about us page. So when I come in here, refresh it. So just look at this now about us page. The page is coming here perfectly. Okay. So the next task is here we are going to create a one form tag form method equal to post form tag close here we are setting one text area here text area and its uh, name equal to about okay and after here we are going to create a one button with the save option we are going to give the name equal to up underscore about okay so let's take a view how it look like so let's look at this now it looks like this so i'm come back here and go to css here I'm setting this one about weight equal to 60 percent and then the then, then, then margin will be auto padding from all side 5 percent box sizing will be border box okay and inside about have some text area then it's uh, Weight will be 100%, height will be 150 pixel. Let's see, refresh that one. ID about. So let's uh, clear the history and check it again how it look like. Clear the data. We are going to clearing data refresh that one so just look at this now nice looking very good very nice very perfect so we need to also remove the outline outline will be none and the padding from the all side five percent box sizing border box refresh that one so just look at this now nice looking very good perfect now we need to design that save button so simply just copy this one from here by control c paste that one by control v and about 
here also about refresh dash the uh, refresh this one so just look at this now it's looking very good but we need to set it into the right side so simply what we are going to do here float right refresh it so just look at this now now it's looking very good now so now what we are going to do here we are going to come back into the database from here create our new table from here with the about and we need only two column from there aiv and about this is the where care and 500 and then 10 it's a primary key auto increment save it so come back here if this is only for one time in uh, adding so we doesn't need to allow the user to add that one from here so simply what we are going to do here just to copy this one from here by control c come back into the database and about table and insert on insert we paste it, uh, this one and say go okay so that is coming from here so now our task is starting from here okay so what we are going to do here so 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 about okay <clears throat> so we need to cut this one from here question mark php echo about function we are creating this function right now come back into the here add a one function about first of all including the database connection and c slash db dot php and echo this one so we need to setting this one single code single code single code single code okay all are set so now we need that value so we are going to directly create one query about equal to dollar con prepare double code select star from about dollar about set fetch mode our set fetch mode is pdo fetch underscore asoc then after about will be executed we are going to create a one row variable equal to dollar about page okay we need only one record for that reason we are not running here while loop so now we need to set the value from here dot dot dollar row about which is coming from about table field here from here okay so let's refresh and check a look so let's look at this now now our about section is coming from here so the next task is we need to save when cl someone click on this save button okay if is set dollar underscore post up about so first of all we are going to create one variable with the about uh, no, no 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 info info equal to dollar underscore post about which is coming from here we are targeting that uh, input field inside our about oh sorry info variable now let's update it dollar con prepare double quotes 
update about set about equal to uh, dollar info okay now create one if condition if dollar up about execute then what should be happen here so let's copy something from here yes from here paste that one from here remove this extra curly bracket info updated successfully redirect that user on about page about page info update info not updated successfully so now let's check it it's running or not and i click on this save so just look at here info not updated successfully so why it's coming i don't know why method is post up about about Yeah, just because we are the table name is same and field name is also same. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 not like that. We made a mistake on the about uh, update query. Update. Refresh it. Click on this save button. So just look at this now. Info updated successfully. When I try to change, read more dot dot dot. When I click on this save, so just look at this now. Okay. So let's look at this now. Now, okay, 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 okay. It doesn't need this message from here. It doesn't need this message from here. We just directly update it. So when I click on this one, read more, remove uh, these three dots, save it. So just look at this now. Now it's saving very well. So guys, I think this is enough for today. And also, our uh, admin task is over for now. So now. In the next tutorial, we are going to jump in on our main website page. Okay. So in next tutorial, we are going to design this header section. Okay. So I think guys, this is enough for today. If you guys are like my videos, then like and share my videos. And if you have any question in your mind, then comment below. And don't forget to subscribe the channel. Share this video, like the video, commenting on this video. If you have any question, so comment it. I will give you the answer in next 24 hours. So guys, we will meet you in next tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Stay connected with me. Stay tuned. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.